exercise 8.1, we're going to do variable and absorption costing unit product costs. Bharat Bicycle, located in India, produces an inexpensive yet rugged bicycle for use on crowded city streets. The company sells the bicycle for 500 rupees. Selected data for the company's operations last year follow. And this is what we're given here. We're only given uh, this, uh, this sort of uh, uh, chart right here. We have our beginning inventory, zero. We've produced 10,000 units, sold 8,000, so we have 2,000 left in inventory. Our variable costs for direct materials are 120. Labor is 140. Variable manufacturing overhead per unit is 50. Variable selling and administrative uh, uh, costs per unit are 20. Then we have our just total fixed costs, fixed manufacturing overhead, fixed selling and administrative. Now, I put these in dollars. The question is stated in rupees, but all I've done is change the currency. The end effect will be exactly the same. Required, number one, <clears throat> assume the company uses absorption costing. Compute the unit product costs for one bicycle. And you'll recall that absorption costing means direct materials, direct labor, and all overhead. So here's our column for absorption costing. This will calculate our total. So in here, we're going to require the direct materials. Here, we're going to require direct labor. And we need all the, the manufacturing overhead. So we'll take the variable overhead, and we have to add the manufacturing overhead. But we have total manufacturing overhead, not per unit. However, we have made 10,000 units. So we simply have to take the 600,000 and divide it by the quantity that we produced, 10,000 units. So we have total costs per unit under absorption costing of $370, or if you're still following along in rupees, 370 rupees. Number two of this question, assume that the company uses variable costing. Compute the unit product cost for one bicycle. In variable costing, the only difference is we do not include any fixed overhead. So we don't include this. So we still include these three over here. So we will include our direct materials. We will include our direct labor. And we will include our variable manufacturing overhead cost per unit to give us a cost of 310 per unit. So under absorption costing, we have 370 per unit. Under variable costing, we have 310 per unit. Absorption costing defers in inventory $60 per unit. That's going to become important at a later question. So I want you to keep this number in mind that it was 370 with absorption costing, 310 with variable costing. Exercise 8.2. Variable costing income statement. Explanation of difference in operating income. Refer to the data in exercise 8.1 for Barat Bicycle. That's the question we've just done. An absorption costing income statement prepared by the company's accountant appears below. And this is, uh, this is what we're given here. This is a complete income statement. You'll notice that there are question marks here. 10,000 units at how much per unit and 2,000 units at how much per unit. These question marks aren't a problem that we have to solve. It's just that... If they put 370 in there, then we'd have the answer to question one without having to solve it. So the question marks are really just, well, you know what? You'll solve it in 8.1, then just put the number in. So that number in absorption costing was 370 per unit. So we can see right here, we have 10,000 units times the 370 is 37, 3,700,000. 3, so just remember that's a 370 in there. What is required? Number one, determine how much of the ending inventory of 740,000 above consists of fixed manufacturing overhead costs deferred in inventory to the next period. See, we have ending inventory of 2,000. Well, this 2,000 is going in inventory at 370, but 60 of that is fixed overhead costs. So that's deferred into here. We have to figure out how much is deferred in inventory. So we'll answer that question. We're on. 8.2, learning objective number two, and we're answering question number one. And you'll recall we had 2,000 units in ending inventory, 2,000 units at 370, and that's under absorption costing. But 60 of that, 60 of that was fixed. They were fixed manufacturing overhead costs per unit. 
So we're deferring $60 in overhead per unit times 2,000 units, so we are deferring $120,000. So of the $740,000, $120,000 is deferred fixed manufacturing overhead costs. What is the second part of the question? The second part asks us to prepare an income statement for the year using the variable costing method. Explain the difference in operating income between the two costing methods. And you recall if we're doing the variable costing method, we're doing contribution format approach. <clears throat> and the contribution format approach, I'll just write over here, is sales minus variable costs equals contribution margin minus fixed costs equal operating income. So we want to see if we what operating income we get adjusted for this amount and see if it equals <clears throat> what we had in absorption costing. So let us begin. Our sales remain the same at four million. Less, now we're going to subtract all the variable costs. And <clears throat> for production here, we have to start with beginning inventory. So our beginning inventory was zero. Then we add all our production at 310 per unit, not 370 per unit. Remember, we're just doing variable costing now. So our production is 3,100,000. And we'll subtract our less our ending inventory, and our ending inventory is 2,000 units. But we're not subtracting it at, 30, at 370, we're subtracting it at 310. So 2,000 times 310 is 620,000. So our variable cost of production is 2,480,000. <clears> so that takes that out of the way, but we also have variable selling and administrative expense of 160,000. So 4 million minus 2.48 million minus 160,000 is 1,360,000. That is our contribution margin. So sales minus variable costs equal contribution margin. Now we subtract our fixed costs, less our fixed costs. We have fixed manufacturing overhead of 600,000. And we have fixed selling and administrative of 400,000, which is 1 million. So we have an operating income of 360,000. Under absorption costing, we had an operating income of 480,000. But with this 360, keep in mind we deferred 120,000 in absorption costing, we deferred the 120,000 in inventory. So we didn't take 600,000 in fixed in fixed manufacturing overhead costs. Uh, off of our income, we only took three, uh, sorry, 480 off. So the other 120 we must ha add back. And that will give us 480,000, which is the operating income we got under absorption costing.